stopwatch is gonna be your budget teleporter at a high level but at a decent cost making it really worth it to craft it and useful in different kind of scenarios and threat levels so if you do find this informational don't forget to smash the like button as it always helps with the algorithm and subscribe to the channel and share around as that always supports me and with that let's get right into this one Unlocking the stopwatch at level 99 is an in-game item which is crafted in a fabricator requiring 40 black pearls, 60 electronics, 80 polymer, 120 crystal and 60 metal ingot. Which may seem cheap but it adds up quickly and you'll find out more about this later in the video. So what is the stopwatch? Basically it's kind of a teleporting device and not a time machine so don't think you're gonna do Prince of Persia kind of a deal with this because it's not intended to work that way. So there's gonna be two ways of using it. So one way is gonna be setting portal points where you can jump back to that set period of time or the second way of using it is going to be a rewind state where you can go back five to four ish seconds instantaneously so first up let's test the portal point so what the portal point is basically you left click and that way you set a portal checkpoint and it's going to say portal placed now this is going to last you for 60 seconds however note there is a limitation to this as it's not like you set this Go to the surface world and then teleport back here. It's not going to work that way because the limitation is a range barrier. Now what the range barrier is, you'll get this big range around you. And it's going to be bigger than the tech generator's range. However, if for example, I go ahead and step beyond this point, it's going to say too far away. So if I click this, it's not going to take me back. However, if I go in the range and click it, it's going to take me all the way back to the portal point we placed. That's the fundamental of setting portal waypoints. Also note, every time you use the stopwatch, you're going to get a 180 second cooldown and it will take a damage every use, giving you a max of three uses per stopwatch. So if we go and use this again, setting the timer there and teleporting to that spot, as you can see, our stopwatch broke which then you will need to repair by using 20 black pearls, 30 electronics, 40 polymer, 60 crystal and 30 metal ingots, which may not seem a lot, but black pearls are rare and that will keep adding up every time you break a time stopwatch. Because basically after you get the 180 second cooldown, it's not like you can just pick another stopwatch, go again and use it because the timer is linked to every stopwatch you're going to craft. So even if you craft a new stopwatch, you cannot use it right away. You'll have to wait for the full 180 seconds and the stopwatch will have a red lit up indication stating how much time is there or you can see the timer ticking down below. Also note, you can only place one stopwatch portal. If you want to place another, say you want to get outside the range, take another stopwatch and try to place another one, it will not allow you to. Because basically every stopwatch is linked to one another. So that doesn't affect it. And that pretty much sums up the portal point test. The second way to use it, which is going to be your five second rewind. So how this works is basically if you count down five seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, and I click this, it will take me back exactly to five seconds, or maybe it's like 4.7 to five second ish. But sometimes it does a little bit of a rollback that I've noticed. That is not exactly five seconds, it's like 4.8 or 4.5, something like that. It's sometimes where you miss almost half a second rewind, is what I've noticed. And that is pretty much it about the rewind. It's really straightforward. You just hit the right click and it takes you five seconds back. About five seconds to four point. It's inconsistent at times, uh, but most of the times it'll take you back five seconds. Now on to some testing. So first test we're gonna do if we can rewind back to our state, either by using the portal technique or the five second rewind if we can save ourselves from falling down a cliff. Mainly this is gonna be a five second rewind kind of a situation because if you're falling abruptly without knowing, you're gonna use the five seconds. You can't set a portal point, so that's what we're gonna do. So say I'm running down the cliff and i slip or something happens one two three and there we go we made it back up now i jumped a little bit early that's why i just counted three seconds but just to be safe click it on four seconds but it is five seconds but sometimes as i said 
is inconsistent maybe sometimes the server lag also that could affect the stopwatch but in my testing it was kind of a little bit off here and there when i was calculating the timings on to the second test does it affect any items in my inventory well let's go ahead spawn some raw mutton and the reason i'm testing this is it only affects the character's timeline basically so what do i mean by that is say if a structure got damaged and you hit the rewind that structure won't be fixed say if your dinosaur got damaged you hit rewind that dinosaur is not going to be healed say if your dinosaur died or laid an egg and you hit the rewind the dinosaur is not going to come back to life nor is it going to rewind the egg to go back up its you know what i mean so basically what it does it only affects the character so that got me thinking at least it might affect the inventory right so basically what we're going to do is we're going to let it go down till 32 and then hit the rewind and see if it gets some time back. And as you see, that doesn't affect any kind of spoilage time. So it's not going to affect anything in your inventory. It's only going to affect a save state point. Now, as for this test, it is kind of weird. And I don't know if it's just for me or someone else, but anyone could test this and let me know in the comments. But in my test, if I'm using a stopwatch while running, for example, let me take off GCM mode so you see what I'm trying to say. Now, as you saw in the trailer, the person was running away from a player and he teleported behind them. So I wanted to recreate that, but with, with the dino, right? So if I'm running and I click the watch, it basically zooms in on me. Now it does work, but it zooms in for some reason. And there's a quite a distance. As you can see, the Raptor even he aggroed from me and I can easily just take the shot and try to kill him and stuff like that. Just like so. So that is really neat, but I don't know why it zooms in like that. If you saw when I just shifted to the stopwatch, it zoomed in. But it gives you such a difference in for like raptors and ravages where basically the creature de aggros and I was not in GCM or anything. So, so it was as official I could get on this matter. But look at this, like it's something weird. Sometimes it just zooms in and I don't know why it does that. But if I put it away, it's fine. It's just a random glitch. Maybe if I restart my game and I fix it, because before this, it was working. But sometimes it gets this random glitch where it zooms in. So keep that in mind. Come into the clock face and please ignore the glitch. I don't know why it does that. But sometimes, as I even commented on the clock face video, the cogs just come out like this. Wildcard, you need to do something about this. But talking about the clock face and the stopwatch, seeing that it is a prerequisite to craft the stopwatch, basically it has no correlation. So for, for example, if I boost this, it doesn't help reduce the time on the cooldown phase for the stopwatch at all, nor does it give it any kind of buff where it increases the portal time to more than a minute. So it doesn't have any relation with the clock face so that's something you want to keep in mind so don't expect it to be related to the clock face in any shape or form on to an interesting test i wanted to see if it could like save us from debuffs so for example what if i set a portal point here okay and now there's a field of mushroom which is going to give me the hallucination debuff so let's just quickly test this if the portal can reverse debuffs so we'll go into this field of mushrooms there's one and let's quickly click and no unfortunately it won't save you from the mushroom mushrooms are gonna kill you and it's something you cannot help even with the stopwatch which in my opinion should have reverse time because it affects only the character and a debuff is a character debuff so it should have worked as for using this on the back of a dinosaur unfortunately you cannot because even if I click this, it will not work. Even if I set a portal point somewhere and go back on the dinosaur and try to equip it like so and click it, it's not going to take me. So it's completely not usable on a creature. So keep that in mind. The same also goes for the Zeppelin. I tried it on the Zeppelin as well. And you cannot use the stopwatch at all because you cannot even equip it when you're riding the Zeppelin. Now, the most interesting way of using the stopwatch is going to be on the surface. 
And the reason being is if I go out of GCM mode, so I can show you exactly how this works. I'm out of GCM mode and say, I put a portal point here. Okay. Let's set the time close to getting the heat wave. Okay. So if I set the timer here, like right there, if I go in here, as you can see, I'm getting the burn damage and losing health. If I click this, I go straight back. And the range for this is not that. Let's set another portal timer here and let's see the range. I'm going to use GCM just so I can show you. As you can see, you can at least make it, if you use it nearby, at least you cover a little bit of the area. So you could set a point somewhere here, farm the obsidian, get drops which are a little bit nearby. And then if you almost make it back to the portal, it's kind of a neat feature to just get a little bit of distance when time is almost at an end. But you only have one minute, so this is mostly going to be for the last drop or for just farming some obsidian and stuff like that. And you want to be safe, but it's not optimal, but it is something that works. So I just wanted to point that out. It's a neat surface little device. So if I get in here and I click this button, boom, I'm in the safe zone. Apart from that, I think I've tested almost everything. If I missed anything, go crazy in the comments. Type in your ideas for the stopwatch and let us know as to how you would use it. Also, an interesting thing is that I can rewind back this whole video and start all over again, just like this. The stopwatch is going to be your budget teleporter. I'm just kidding with y'all, but thank you so much, guys. I really mean it for the amount of likes, comments and subscribers. It's just mind blowing to see that we have, I think we have almost reached 790 subscribers, which is totally amazing. And don't forget to like this video as well as it helps with the algorithm and subscribe because we're so close to a thousand and it's always been a goal for the channel. So maybe we'll soon hit that as well. And I will be doing a giveaway. So I wanted to give a point out to that. So we'll be having a giveaway and I'll give the details in a later video. But yeah, that's about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching this. And as always, I'll survive signing off and I'll see you on the next one. Till then, peace out.